Good afternoon, Nick. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Perhaps we can just start with a brief intro introduction to yourself and uh, where you fit into BNP Paribas. Yeah, so I'm um, uh, Nick Brazier. I'm the Chief Procurement Officer for the Corporate Investment Bank in the UK. Um, BNP Paribas is a global bank. Um, we have uh, quite a matrix approach, so I'm looking after a particular remit in the UK. So, uh, as someone in that procurement sector, it's quite different to, to the rest of the commercial world. What are some of the particular challenges to uh, procurement in financial services? Um, well, historically, it's been buy-in, really, and, and interest in procurement, because obviously there's a lot of money being made and, and less focus on the cost side of the business. But, of course, in the last three or four years, that's, that's turned on its head, and we, we now have a lot more traction as, as a function, a lot more attention. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've, we've got a seat at a lot more tables than we used to. So. It's, it's improved. One of the big areas of, uh, of issue for us now is risk, risk management. Um, obviously there's a lot of regulations in, in the banking sector. You know, there always, always was, but there's more than ever now. Um, so that's an area that we're having to spend a lot of, a lot of time on. So a lot of those regulations, um, I know, tend to affect trading itself, but how do they filter through into procurement? What kind of changes are you having to make? Well, there's a lot of uh, regulations around outsourcing. Outsourcing of services in the financial sector uh, are still under the remit of the, uh, well, the old FSA, the FCA now. Um, so yeah, we have to be very careful to be uh, keeping an eye on the regulations that are around that and making sure we're complying with them all. Um, knowing what our supply chain is, right down to the nth degree, um, and you know, where our data is going. Data is a big, a big area, obviously sensitive data, and where that's being stored. So the whole data protection issue. I mean, it, there's, there's, it sort of. It's actually much more detailed than you yes. first think. It spreads out. Yeah. Uh, now you were on a panel debate uh, yesterday. If you yes. could perhaps tell us a little bit more about that debate, uh, uh, what some of the, the key arguments were. Yeah, it's really about spend visibility and what the what the benefits of spend visibility are, and a little bit of practicality around how to go around, um, you know, finding a, a provider uh, and implementing a system. But uh, for me, my, my main input because we're still in the transition period, was really about what the benefits are of, of good spend visibility. Um, and the, the, the main uh, areas that we were, we were looking at were uh, obviously being able to leverage and, cost and save more cost uh, by understanding your vendor base. But there's a lot, uh, going back to the risk aspect, um, being able to understand um, where, your, where your strategic vendors are, how much you're spending with um, conglomerations of, of companies, which is increasingly an issue now. Um, and also procuring fraud is another area that spend visibility can assist you with. Um, I mean, the, the, the new regulations in the UK that came out on, on procurement fraud are, are quite robust and we need to have the right uh, ability to track uh, and report on any fraud risks that we have. I'm actually quite surprised that, that there's many arguments against visibility. It sounds like mm. the kind of thing you'd expect would just be welcomed with open arms by all. So uh, what, what are some of the, 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 the cons in that argument that people were making? There aren't many cons. I think the, the, the issue that has always existed is it's hard to build a business case around why you need increased spend visibility because you can't show what you don't know. So right. you can't actually put down on paper what it is you're not seeing at the moment. So it's. <laughs> It, it, it's increasingly becoming easier to get buy-in from, from the board for this kind of thing, but it's, that's always been the issue. Is you, you don't know what you don't know, so you can't show what that will gain for you. So how did you get buy-in? Um, it's more on the risk side. We're finding it easier to get the buy-in on the risk side, and the rest right. will follow. So we've found you know, something that the bank are, are obviously is at the forefront of their mind, and we don't have to uh, you know, prove it, uh, as a risk because it's well known. Um, so we've, yeah, we've, we've used that as a, as a way to get traction, really. Fantastic. Thank you very much for taking the time to speak with us. It was a real pleasure. And of course, best of luck with the rest of the project. Thanks very much. Cheers.